Welcome back to another edition of Trial by Fire. <laughs> I, do this I tried to do it, but it didn't work. <laughs> you did too much. That's why you can't do it anymore. <laughs> it all fell off. <laughs> so, if you watched previous video, uh, we tried some... Interesting flavors. Yeah, interesting flavored chips I picked up at a uh, local Indian shop that just recently opened. And I picked up some other treats, too. So, I'm going to hope that these are... So they, they should be. They're cookies. Um, uh, who can screw up a cookie? Yeah. we got two different uh, brands, so we're going to do a bit of a comparison. Yeah. But only one of one, so we're going to start with that one. This one is from Britannia. Ooh. It is basically a strawberry jammy dodger. There you go. If you know what a jammy dodger is. Basically, just your cream-filled cookie. Mm -hmm. The doctor is very fond of his jammy dodgers, so... They smell nice. Lots of uh, strawberry aroma coming off the bag. Oh, yeah. That's some strawberryness. So I'm guessing purely strawberry or artificial strawberry. Probably. I don't think the first one since it's cracked like me. No comment. Now they're very thin. <clears throat> they are. Um, but you can see the little... <laughs> oh, but they... Very strawberry. Yeah. Well, a lot of, uh, notice a lot of the uh, countries from like anywhere, China, all that, that side of the world, they, their flavors are a lot more pungent and usually yeah. natural flavors. They got some, uh, just a little bit of the dazzling sugar on the yeah. top. Like the cracker, uh, the cookie, cracker, the cookie is very thin and the filling is not much of it at all. Just wondering if these are the kind of cookies you can, oh, I don't think you can twist these no. suckers. Uh, you have to eat a whole. So I want to try just a little bit of the frosting first. Not in your face, though. It's not like overly no. sweet. It's more. It actually is more of a natural flavor than artificial. Yeah. So the bodes well. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. It's not too, too sweet. No. It's truly a nice light cookie. Yeah. That's what I like about um, a lot of the ones that we've tried before from, like, Korea and stuff. Mm -hmm. They have a more subtle. It's not, like, in your face, like, overly sugared, Americanized. Yeah. It, it's just a little bit more subtle. So, so this one's technically called Buzzy Strawberry. Mm. I don't know why it's buzzy, but... It's going to make us buzzed. So next up we have, again, from Britannia, and then from what I've basically been told, a knockoff version. We have Awesome Orange. I'm guessing oh, that's so like awesome. Awesome Orange. Awesome. But then we also have Gold Orange from Parlay. Okay, so one package is a little bit smaller. Yeah, the cookies seem to be a little bit different in size. These ones don't have the uh, stuff coming out the top. Oh, well, then it's not an official Jamie Dodger. So we will see what the difference is between them, if there isn't much. You want me to open this? Yeah, well, you can open that one. I'll Ugh. get this one opened up. I'm not really smelling the orange off of this one. Oh, this one I am. Smell? Oh, yeah. That one, yeah. That's a little bit more, and definitely see oh. the difference in, in the uh, in the cookies and themselves. the color. Yeah, yeah. So we, like size wise, they're a little bit smaller. They actually got four holes on both sides of it. It's kind of oozing out, not oozing out, but you know, it's weird because it's so much darker than what's on the package. Even it's yeah. like the, this package got a little bit toasty or something. Oh yeah, there's like no real. Yeah, they're very very thin. So, which one are you gonna try first? Because I'm going to do the opposite, and then we'll... I'll try the little one. Okay. <laughs> 
These are definitely a lot more drier from what I'm crunching. Now, I'm getting the sugar sprinkle off of that one. Mm -hmm. But it kind of reminds me, if you ever had the, the wafer cookies that um, you get like chocolate, strawberry, mm -hmm. vanilla, that kind of flavoring amount. It's a nice subtle flavor. It's actually pretty good. So from what I tasted on, they're very dry. There is a, you get more of an aftertaste of orange than when you're eating it. When you're eating it, you're just like a really dry, almost like a burnt cookie. Mm -hmm. So I'm switching. Mm. Mm. This, you get more of the flavor right away because it's, you get more filling. See what I mean about the dryness? They remind me very much of a digestive cookie. Mm -hmm. With the crunch, like the way it crunches and that. Flavor is still good. Don't get me wrong. I do prefer the, the, the mm -hmm. mainstream ones or originals or whatever you want to call them. Yeah, I've, these ones are more like Jamie Dodger. That is, like you said, more like a digestive where it's more like the shortbread rather than yeah. the filling. Due to technical difficulties <laughs> and not realizing that the video had stopped recording. Somebody didn't accept a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those cookies were not accepted. Um, so as we were continuing on, our next ones are pineapple. So the pineapple. generic version is gold pineapple and the mainstream one is crazy pineapple it's crazy for some reason we don't know why hard to say so we did get them open or at least the i was one. in the process of getting yeah. mine open with the camera <laughs> we realized, wait it's not recording so oh it's all broken in oh i don't mind taking the crack one this time oh that one is really cracked <laughs> that one went too crazy. <laughs> so I'll just take my pile of cookies. Pile of cracked cookies. Wow, it's really that one. Not really a huge pineapple smell from either one of them. No. Now, so this one looks the same as the others. Well, his does. <laughs> Generically, they, yes. This this one is like almost neon. Yeah, it's got it's some brightness. It's, uh, it's some brightness. So we'll try the the original one first, since you got a pile, and <laughs> go from right. there. Hmm. I wouldn't say it's crazy. I wouldn't even say it's pineapple. <laughs> Very mild. Like it's a, it's like if you had a pineapple flavored pound cake, where you know there's pineapple in it somewhere, but it's so subtle and it's so mild. Yeah, it's. I'm not even. I'm not even really getting any. I'm not even sure what the flavor is. I'm getting, but it's not pineapple. It is. It is super mild. So this one, oh, this one you can actually pull apart. Oh, you can do the Oreo twist on it. So, all right, this is how I know what the crackers taste like. I would cook it. Eat the cookie part on this one. Oh, it smells much more. Mmm. So, again, very digestive. Yeah, I'm not fond of the actual cracker or the cookie. But it's so um, bland and a little bit overcooked. I'm going to try just a bit of that. Oh, mm. a lot of pineapple taste in that one. Mm. I wish that flavor was in this yeah. cookie. Because those are the Britannia ones are nice light cookie. These are very dense. Mm -hmm. but the flavor on the pineapple one, this one is actually mm -hmm. quite good. That was a lot more pineapple, like straight mm -hmm. pineapple. Yeah, it's weird. If you could take that filling, put that filling in this cookie, mm -hmm. perfect. No, oh, there you go. That's how that cookie crumbled. Literally everywhere. <laughs> yeah, same. More so for you. That's so true. we have one odd flavor left. 
See, they, they couldn't even tell on camera. Yeah. So this one. But I don't think you or I have had any. This is just gold and the flavor. This one is cozy. Now the flavor is cardamom. Mm -hmm. Not sure I've actually ever had a cardamom flavored item. No. I mean, I've had tamarind flavored. Yeah. But I don't think I've had but this cardamom. This one looks green. This one looks white. So. Well, we noticed that from the other ones that the colors have been really different. Yeah. So I don't know what to expect from cardamom. I'm not sure. Like, would it be a floral? Me, it, would it be a... Yeah, like color-wise, on this one, it looks like a key lime color, almost. Oh. Oh, this one's strong. That... Oh, I don't even know what to think of that. It's a floral Like, scent. that one's strong to me, so I don't know. We'll, we'll see what the... Uh... Oh, you take that one off. Oh, the, smell that one. <laughs> okay, it's interesting. This has more of a citrus... Scent, like mm -hmm. a fruit scent that has more of a floral. Yeah. So they're going to be really different, I think. Are you trying you try to do that? Yeah. Well, oh, 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 kind of oh, oh. skimpy on the filling on this one. <laughs> yeah, I got more filling on mine. That might be a blessing or a curse. Are you just having the. Yeah, you can't even open these ones. Without breaking the cookie. <laughs> oh, you got open? Yeah. This one was like an equal distribution. Uh, I was trying to twist that pull. I, I twisted. No, I'm just saying that's why I didn't yeah. want to. All right, so should we try? Go with the uh, generic. The one that looks white. Yeah, this the is. The floral one. Hmm. It almost tastes like vanilla. Or just generic like Oreo filling. A little bit. It is a little bit more floral. Like um if you've ever had anything with rose in it, probably not, but I've had like a rose cake before. I get a little bit of that a bit uh, now, but at the beginning it literally just almost like Oreo filling. Yeah. But boy the after like I get an after scent in your mouth of like rose. Or like floral. Getting, like, yeah, kind of like you right were around a room of potpourri too long. Yes. I um, ate an old lady. <laughs> I'm just going to try a little bit of the frost on this one. I get it more off of this one, actually. The floral. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's funny. The pineapple, the generic one was more flavored than the other ones. This one seems more flavorful. Flavor than, but mm. it's very floral. Hmm. It's strange. Yeah. Not a bad way, just strange. Hmm. Well, you're gonna have your. Trying to place what it reminds me of. Besides the floral, it's almost got. Like, this is a very subtle citrusy, but it's it's super subtle. It's like a really weird mix. So I'm getting that, but it's almost like... I'm trying to think of what the, uh, the spice is. Rosemary? No. Something like that. Kind of like a, a herbal. Yeah. It, in the sense, it's more, if I had to personally describe it, in a, a herb-wise leaning... It would be more towards, like, not saying it is black licorice, but more the anise punch. Yeah. Flavor-wise. But almost like you would expect from something like um, rosemary or thyme or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, because it's, it's got a weird mix of, like, floral. Yeah. A very slight citrus and, like, a herb. Like, it's like you could be having it in a mixed drink. Hmm. Not bad. Oh. <laughs> the, the after flavor of that, for some reason, is like super strong Fruit Loops all of a sudden. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just I, like... I, I, can just see like what, I can see what you get, too. Oh, that is so weird. I just... 
It brought me right back to my youth of like eating a bowl of Fruit Loops. Youth. <laughs> Younger. I oh, it's been a while since I've had Fruit Loops, but oh, doesn't it remind you a little yeah, bit of Fruit Loops? But I definitely wasn't young when I had them. <laughs> I had them when I was young, but yeah. <laughs> so out of these wonderful, interesting flavors that we have here, which was your personal favorite? It, it's just tied between the strawberry and the, yeah, I'm going to say the strawberry is my favorite. Because overall, for the cookie taste and the filling, strawberry. Yeah. Now, filling-wise. The generic pineapple was my favorite filling. Because yeah. I was doing this, this in my head as well while you were Yeah. Just, it, oh, they're always flying out their strawberry banana. Mm-hmm. And I've seen strawberry pineapple. Yeah. So I'm actually going to try the two. The strawberry pineapple? Yeah. With the nice cracker and the straw the good pineapple filling. And how are you going to frank and mash that? Very carefully. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was actually pretty good. You almost need a knife to scrape it off. Do you have your kniffle? My kniffle is here. Mm. Franken cookie. I may have to uh, do an entire mix of them. Just to, to see what it will taste like. Can't forget that little piece. <laughs> so, strawberry pineapple. Is it good? <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> you got it out of the hole. <laughs> it's got a belly button. It's an Audi. <laughs> I'm pretty proud of that. There you I just used the back side because I was like, you don't cut yourself. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Oh, look, it's now blood flavored. Because that's a very sharp knife. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't hit any of the cookie. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. They can't see that. It's okay. That's why I had to tell them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks. You're the type of person that would tell on me if I was trying to hide a body. No. You're supposed to help me bury a body. Not I would help you bury the body. And then tell on me? Then I cash in the reward. Oh. <laughs> then I split it with you. Then to make sure I put it on the right side of the cookie. Oh, okay. Hmm. <laughs> it is a good combo. We're making a mess. I know. I'm trying to remember which one was the stronger flavor on these ones. Hmm. I think it was. Yeah, because the other one did not have much filling in it. Yeah. That's pretty good. What are you going to call this? Franken cookies? <laughs> Who's Franken? Why is he eating cookies? Frankly, my cookie, I don't give a damn. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Not so easy, is it? Well, you got more on. Yes, I am. I, I know. <laughs> I am a moron. <laughs> you got more on your cookie than I did. Your filling didn't slide off your cookie. <laughs> <laughs> my filling slid off my cookie a long time ago. <laughs> His cheese has been off the cracker for many years. Anybody watching these videos knows that. And if you're the first time here... <laughs> yeah, we're sorry. <laughs> Just watching us decimate cookies. Come on. Get out of there. Aha. Uh -huh. Almost. Yeah, but it came out of the hole. That's what she said. <laughs> the only one I'm not going to add is the cardamom because that. Yeah, we don't need to ruin it. I just want all the fruity parts. <laughs> oh, man. That's a big cookie. They actually put it on the outside, outside of the cookie. <laughs> it kind of looks a little bit like a. They put the orange on the outside of the cookie. Oh, so, well, you know. 
Here goes. See, I, I can't do that because I don't have as big of a mouth as he does. <laughs> a lot of chewing. Mm. This is starting to taste less good. More like a fruit basket. <laughs> and now what are you going to do with all these things? On to birds. <laughs> birds and squirrels. Have some cookies. It's actually not a bad combo while all three. You do lose the pungent of the pineapple, though. Yeah. And the strawberry and the orange kind of mellow out each other. See, I noticed that I still have the flavor of cardamom in my mouth. From It's like that must be the strongest of the flavors. Because yeah. I still have remnants of cardamom. <laughs> remnants of cardamom. <laughs> this sounds like an eau de perfume. <laughs> remnants of cardamom. Trade market now. Smells better than it tastes. So yeah, so that the mixing was good. I would say the strawberry for flavor was. You're tidying up the table. They're gonna see all the crumbs now. It's a crummy video. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> but yeah, for flavor wise, definitely the strawberry for personal flavor. Yeah. Pineapple was the strongest in a good way. The cardamom was yeah. Yeah. The orange was one of those. Orange is a hit and miss for me for. Mm -hmm. flavoring on a lot of stuff. I love the orange flavoring, but... It was kind of forgettable compared to... Yeah, it wasn't super strong, but it wasn't weak. It was just kind of meh. But the generic cardamom one, to me, just tasted like Oreo. Like, at, at first, I did just try to get, like you said, a rose... It was an flavor. Oreo that somebody accidentally dropped a little too close to the perfume bubble. And it got some fumes from the perfume. A little, little rose water, and they picked it out and pulled it out. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. It, they're d definitely interesting cookies. Yep. Uh, I would do the pineapple and the, the uh, yeah. strawberry again if I was looking for it. And for a, a buck a pack, I can't complain. Not this economy. No. The, there are no strawberry one to compare for the other one. I'm guessing it'd probably be similar to the way yeah. the others were. But they what they had a chocolate one. The chocolate's like really chocolate chocolate. Yeah. If I'm gonna have a chocolate cookie, I'm gonna have a fudgio. Fudgio. And if you don't know what a fudgio is, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but basically the same thing, but it's a chocolate cookie yeah. with chocolate filling. It's really good fudgy. But yeah, so that's the strange Indian cookies. <laughs> So anyways, and <laughs> now that we're on a sugar high going down, enjoy your cookies <laughs> and we will see you next time. And do not toss them. Again, yeah, nobody wants to toss cookies. Don't do it. I'll look like you broke it. <laughs> <laughs> it even broke the cookie. It broke the mold. Oh, they broke the mold when they made him. Then they burned it. <laughs> well, yeah, you'd, you'd only ever want one of me. You wouldn't want any more than that. Truth. You're spitting <laughs> truth there. Pure truth. Let's see you later for who knows what we'll try. Take care. Cardamom. I wonder where Carta Daddy is. <laughs> Carta Man, not Carta Carta Mom. That's oh, Carta Mom, isn't it? Oh, it is Mom. Yeah, there you go. It's Carta Dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want Carta?